On this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. If I had to base my marriage on these up and down feelings of when I'm in love and when I'm out of love and in love, and, and I'd probably be divorced already because why I, I can't base my marriage off of that. I base my marriage off of, I don't know what the word is, but it's like he does what he needs to do for me. And I appreciate that and I respect him. That's how I show my love to my husband. I respect him. I asked my husband one time, I said, do you prefer if I love you or respect you? And he said without a second, respect me first. So I respect my husband and he takes care of me. So I don't really know about the whole love. Is this love? Is respecting a person love? Or is him taking care of me love? Is that what you guys are talking about? Or is it some feeling that I'm that I'm missing about the whole like in love, the butterflies, the I'm confused. Okay. Arranged marriage. What are your thoughts about it? Um, I think that I think Chicago said it earlier. Um, the social infrastructure, the cultural like situations just aren't there. Um, for us to do that, uh, and speaking specifically for Black people in America, um, many parents are not married. So, like, if you're not married and you haven't had a successful marriage, how are you going to successfully figure out a marriage arrangement for your children? Um, so I think there's other things that need to be worked on first. Like, I don't think that's the first thing anybody needs to be thinking, um, in terms of the betterment of, uh, Americans or black Americans more specifically, um, arranged marriages more so come when there is that strong social family structure that's meant for a purpose. Like, look, we're trying to do this. This is what we want the lineage to look like and so on and so forth. We're not as Americans and more specifically as black Americans, we're just not in that position um, to do that. So uh, do I think arranged marriages can work in certain cultures? Absolutely. Do I think that's what black people in America should be doing? Absolutely not. I was just asking in general. It wasn't a black thing. Uh, you know, I, I know. I, I, answered, I answered all of it. I, okay. I just wanted to know. I just, you know, everybody else answered, but just regular. I know you don't want me to say black, but I just had to. No, I, it's, it's not, he it's he not don't care if you say black. Yeah. He's just adding just, context to what yeah. he was asking. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the other part of the question is, uh, how important is love when it comes to um, a relationship in marriage? I know I spoke to Amira about this, um, that love is look, looked at differently. And I think uh, somebody else, Anton, I don't know if I was talking to you about it. I think you said you looked at it differently. But how important is love? I don't think that love is the final. I don't think that you should lead with love. And when I say love, and it's, it's, I think it's important to have a conversation about because everybody got a different definition of everything. People have a different definition of friends. They got a different def definition of love. And I don't want to go down that whole rabbit hole. But I think that marriage largely is a business first. I think that you can learn to love people. And I've seen people do it over and over and over again. I think that you can always find that. I think that that's subjective. But I think that ultimately you've seen the results of people picking their partners based off of how they feel and how they feel towards them and whether or not they think they love them or not. Yo, you can get into an argument and you might not even like the person that you would at that specific. I've seen people say they love people and straight up do them dirty right after that, right? I've seen conversations where people ask the question, can men love two women at the same time, right? Love has nothing to do with the foundation of what marriage is. Love has something to do with how it is that we treat other people as humans, but that's not the foundation behind what marriage is. So I don't think that that's even remotely close to what's the most important thing when you're trying to define or find a wife or a husband. I think that that should, that should absolutely be left off the list when you're trying to figure out who you should marry. Rilla, how important is love in a relationship and marriage? 
Yeah, I think um, um, I agree that everybody has different viewpoints on love. Typically, when I talk about love, um, you know, I'm not speaking from the emotional aspect of love because that is fleeting, you know. And me and my girl often talks about, um, you know, what happens when the love isn't there? What happens when you wake up and you're not in love with somebody, right? What do you do? So if that in that moment, it becomes very important to be anchored and rooted in something deeper than fleeting emotions. But now, you know, from a biblical perspective, 1 Corinthians 13 and 4 through verse 8 tells us what love is. And if you're rooted in that and you apply that to marriage, then that becomes very important. Again, I, t I, I think that marriage is covenant. It's an exchange between two people of strengths for weaknesses. There are areas where the husband is weak. I mean, in Genesis, <laughs> God specifically said, it's not good for a man to be alone. And then from that, he created woman. And what you see is that um, throughout the text, is um, every time you see covenant, you see an exchange of strengths for weaknesses. And so when you approach it from that aspect, um, I think love as an emotion, as an emotion, as a feeling, uh, you know, ranks very low, but uh, love as a characteristic and expression of God uh, ranks very high, in my opinion. Amir, coming to you, how important is love in relationships and marriage? I brought this up the first week that I came to the show because well, we were at the end, so it was already closing up, but I wanted to hear from you all. What is your view on love and why is it so important? Because like I said, for me, I think love is more of a, a thing you do, not this. I feel like a, in, a, in American culture, it's like they focus on this love concept as a thing. We see it more as, does your husband pay your bills? Does he take care of you? Do you Are you missing any meals? Do you have clothes? Do you have the things that you want and need? That's your husband loving you. Never, I don't, I don't think I've ever been asked by my family, uh, are you in love or something like that? When I got married, I wasn't in love. Neither was my, well, I, I don't know. I don't know about my husband, I never asked him, but I fell in love with my husband two months, around two months after we got married. That's when I fell in love. And then I fell out of love around the fifth month because he got irritating. I was irritated. And if I had to base my marriage on these up and down feelings of when I'm in love and when I'm out of love and in love, and, and I'd probably be divorced already because why I, I can't base my marriage off of that. I base my marriage off of, I don't know what the word is, but it's like he does what he needs to do for me and i appreciate that and i respect him that's how i show my love to my husband i respect him i asked my husband one time i said do you prefer if i love you or respect you and he said without a second respect me first so i respect my husband and he takes care of me so i don't really know about the whole love is this love is respecting a person love or is him taking care of me love is that what you guys are talking about or is it some feeling that i'm that i'm missing about the whole like in love the butterflies the i'm confused 